Hi, I'm Brian Warren, and we're here today at Meridian Community College. We're partnering up with Practical Machinists to bring you educational content each month. Be sure to leave a comment in the comment section, anything you'd like to see. Uh, today, something I want to talk about is a uh, high-speed steel tool bits. You know, grind, grind yourself to uh, put on a lathe. I've noticed in a lot of shops, uh, a lot of fab shops, automotive shops are starting to buy used manual lathes now. They are, they are getting into machining, um, and one of the things is, a lot of people don't know how to grind these. Um, I had a guy call me and wanted me to come check out his, his machine he bought. He said it wasn't cutting right, and I get there, and I can hear the vibration and chatter coming from the outside. And I go in, and he pulls the tool out, and he said, yeah, this is a factory edge, and it's, it's not cutting. So, um, you know, of course, you know, he didn't know you had to grind proper relief angles. Uh, so today, th this is for a student or somebody who's just getting started, uh, somebody that just wants to know how to, how to grind a tool to get started a rough cut on steel on your lathe. And um, we're going to go to our old ball door grinder, and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so what I'm looking for is I'm looking for about a 15 degree one side of the face, 30 degree on the other. It doesn't have to be precise. Uh, the main thing is you don't want to get the tool too hot while you're grinding it, and you don't want to get too sharp of a, of a point, and you don't want to get too blunt of a point. You're looking for clearance, but if you get too much clearance, then you create, create a weak point. So I'm going to start, and this I always start with the students, is you notice one side has a, has a slant to it already. We're going to use that to our advantage for clearance, so all we have to do is clean it up. And I'm going to start by grinding my side clearance, and I want it to rake down from the top to the bottom, go down just, just to clear. So that's about, a, I tell them to leave about a fingernail uh, thickness gap off the wheel. So I'm going to start by putting the bottom of the tool into the wheel, and I'm going to leave a gap at the top, and I'm going to let that grinding wheel work its way up to it. Now while you're doing this, you want to keep in mind you're shaping this flat. You don't want to roll it into the wheel. So I have my gap and it's starting to form, but I got to I got to take the tool off and cool it off cuz if I let this get too hot, I anneal it and take the hardness out of the bit and it's no good anymore. So once I take off the coolant, I have to go back and get back in that same groove and just let the wheel continue to do the work all the way up. So now when I start to look at it, I have a slant that goes, you know, this point is sticking out further than this point, and that's what I, that's what I want for a cutting tool. Um, so that's one side of it just about done. I'm going to hit it one more time. Cool it off. And one thing I always tell the students is to look at the reflection of the light. If I'm seeing different shades of gray on here, then, then I have different flats and angles, and that's not good. I want one smooth surface to come up, one light reflection off of it. So now I'm going to work on getting my front clearance. I just have to clean this up a little bit from, from where it was. So all I'm going to do for this, the same principle, is I'm going to put the bottom of the tool to the grind wheel. I'm going to leave a gap at the top and I'm going to let the tool work its, let the wheel work its way up the tool. This one does take a little longer, so you may have to cool it off a few times to be able to do it. And I'm just, I just have it coming up nice and slow, not letting my tool get too hot. And the big thing is not to get impatient with it. You have to just let the, let the wheel work its way up. When people start getting impatient is when they start wanting to push the tool into the wheel and then you end up with a, basically a, a mirror image of the wheel. And that will not work for cutting on the lathe. 
As you can see, I'm just coming up nice and slow. It's almost to the top. I'm going to take one last pass on it to let it smooth out. Real light grinding. Don't, put, don't push into the grinding wheel. Just let the wheel do the work, work its way up. All right, so now all I wanted there was clearance, and I have my clearance. If you look, you can see where it slants down, and in the front, I'm still slanting in. So this point is sticking out further, but now I gotta, I gotta deal with this straight edge. So I'm not real concerned about the finish of this just yet, because I gotta take all this, and I'm gonna take it all and make it slant back this way to give the clearance for the front. So I'm gonna do that by kinda holding a weird angle on it. I'm going to hold down and over while I do it. Be careful not to let your tool get too hot. So this is what I've got now. I've got a tool that at this point sticks out further than any other point on, on the tool. Where I'm slanting back from the top, I'm slanting down, and I'm slanting down from the front. Um, now I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna touch up, and I'm gonna put a little bit of top relief on it. So I'm just gonna grind from back to the, back to the top forward, and my tool will be ready to cut, and we'll take a test cut with it to show you. And I'm just gonna come in on the very top of the tool and I'm gonna just put just a little slant in it. And this is the part where it wants to overheat the most. Now if you look, I have a tool that will clear all my chips. This is, this is the top of your tool. The point that sticks furthest out is your cutting edge. So you're gonna put it in your tool holder just like that. And it's gonna be a left hand tool, cuts, uh, right hand tool cuts to the left. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna point here, all the chips are gonna clear off. And let's, let's try it out and see how it does. All right, we got our tool in the, in the blade. Everything's centered up. Remember, this is high speed steel, so heat is your enemy. So we want to put some kind of cutting fluid on this and we want to control the heat as much as we can. So I'm going to put a little on the end. There's no need to drown it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn my lathe on and I'm going to touch off. I'm gonna take about 25,000 just to see how it's doing.
Now we're, we're getting chips off, uh, so that's, that's a good sign. I could run this faster and take a heavier cut, no doubt. Well, that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little bit about making tools. If you'd like to see other tools in the future, we could do threading tools, groove tools. Just leave us a comment. Thanks.